Hey you guys! Uh, if it's a little loud in here, I'm sorry, but the AC needs to stay on. Um, it's late in the evening. No, it's early in the evening. But I wanted to start a vlog and say hi to you guys because we just got something and I thought it would be a fun kind of thing to film. And you're sleepy, aren't you? Yes. Um, I think I have one more video that I need to edit that's way back from like early May, end of April slash early May time. I think it's early May, um, but I don't know. I think it's like this one, this last one's really PC and I don't know if it's enough to be an actual video. So I'm gonna put this one out and just say, hi, I miss you guys so much and I miss vlogging so much. So I was like, do you know what? Screw it, I'm filming today. We're doing a little bit of a quick evening daily vlog either, even though none of my videos are ever quick. And, sorry, I just ate. I've got like, you know when you eat and then you try and talk and you get those like, they're not burps, but they're like kind of like <laughs> hiccup things. Um, Cody just got, brought home some treats from, what's it called, Good Bread from Calgary. And from work, and they're so good. He brought home like cronuts, cruffins, whatever they are. Mine was like lemon stuffed. Oh, so good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, missed you guys. This guy is getting bigger and bigger. Aren't you? You're gonna be six months in two weeks, which is just outrageous. And we just need to get filming so we don't miss any precious moments of him growing. I found another marketplace find. What else is new? I love finding vintage pieces from marketplace. And last night I was just scrolling and I saw a beautiful vintage china cabinet for $20. And I was like, Cody, can you please collaborate with me, grab a truck and go to this stranger's house and lift this giant piece of furniture with me? And he was like, yes. So we just went and got it. That's what I'm looking at. And I want to set it up and it's gonna go in our dining room and I finally will have a place for all of my beautiful teacups in China. You guys know I'm a use the China kind of girl. I have all these teacups. I have this beautiful Christmas set that I bought two years ago, three years ago, and um, I finally have a place to put that. And then Cody's grandma gave us her serving set and I've had nowhere to put it. So finally I'll have somewhere to put these pieces and then I think I'll be able to Maybe, I don't know. I might put homeschool stuff in the bottom of it. I'm not sure. But we're going to move things around. Cody's just pulling in now. I think I hear him. Yes, I think so. And we're going to wipe this down and put this together. And I thought it would be interesting to film. I just need to get back into it. And I was like, this is a perfect opportunity. We're actually doing something. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I went on a walk this morning with a friend, a newer friend of mine. And we went almost 5K. But, oh my god, you guys, the postpartum sweat is so intense. I feel like, like, it's not stinky sweat. It's just wet. Postpartum sweating. I forgot about this. And I feel like people don't talk about that a lot. I feel like, Rayma, why are you talking about your sweat? Because I feel like if you are postpartum and you're sweaty and you feel embarrassed or lonely, it happens to all of us. Right? You make me sweaty. <clears throat> I came back from my walk and I had to have a shower because, like, my back was dripping. It was horrendous like awful okay are you ready to see it this is it in two pieces hold on oh, oh. so it goes to train film okay here's the top portion look at this beauty i know it's kind of dark in here and here's the bottom look at this twenty dollars are you kidding me and the glass panels are just kind of all over the kitchen counter we're gonna put it right there so <clears throat> i've moved some things around oh there's plenty the dada. The bird is calling dada. Okay, so we moved a couple things around since we've last, since I've last filmed anything. What was the last time you filmed? So, um, like the beginning of May. Oh, Yeah. So, <laughs> it's June. I was just saying how awesome you are because I was like, hey, I found this thing for $20. Do you want to go lift a heavy piece of furniture after work? And you were like, the answer was no, but I'm going to do it anyway because you asked me to do it. But you didn't say no. He said, it's yes. a minor pet peeve of mine. I hate when people say, hey, do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to go do the dishes? Hey, do you want to go clean up dog poop? No, I don't want to. Are you asking me to do it? Or are you asking me if I want to do it? True. If the answer is no, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's true. I okay. When people say so right want. here where the bassinet okay. is, that was our record player. And so we've moved, excuse me, children. 
We move the record player to be right here, which I think it looks lovely there. And we're gonna get it restored soon. Not soon, one day. Cody's gonna restore it. It's his I project. I need like, new speakers, I need new wiring. I probably need yeah. a new turntable. So we don't know where to put the bench. I might just pop that in the basement for a little bit while I figure out where to put it. It's beautiful. That was a marketplace find. I don't think I showed you guys. This was free. Gorgeous. Well, here, come look at this nice bench. Look at how beautiful this is. Vintage. So something I really like is like this lady was like, oh, is it like a project or something? And I'm like, no, um, I love bringing warm tones. I love warm wood. I think the, f the whole like, oh, warm wood is ugly. I think like I hate that. I love our modern house, but I don't like everything looking really white and sterile. So I try and bring a lot of warming tones in with warm wood furniture. That's why like our table is white to kind of blend in with the counters and stuff. But um we have like a warm tone top we've got vintage chairs all sorts of things we want to talk zagers loves to talk to the camera um i just want it to be warm and cozy and one of the ways you can cozy up your house really quickly is to add warm toned furniture so that's something i love so it's not i'm just gonna wash it and then it's just gonna she said it was what 54 or 57 54 54 okay um yeah, it makes the house feel instantly cozy and warm, and I love it. I like the balance between the modern and the vintage touches. Yeah? So I'm... He's a bit of a puker, so I don't know if... Whenever it sounds wet, I'm like... Ugh. Um, Yeah, so I think this is going to look really nice. And my lovely china is finally going to have... All my teacups and teapots are finally going to have somewhere to live. And probably some of Cody's... Thank you. Warhammer. We'll probably live in the china cabinet as well. Yeah. I think it'll be one of those things where it's like every day I'll just notice a new sneaky little Warhammer piece displayed inside the china cabinet. I think you almost don't know what to call them. What? A little sneak pi piece? Warhammer piece. He shows piece. Piece. Model. Model. There we go. Guy. Okay. I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to wash this and put it together. Well, actually he's going to. Yeah, thanks. Let's be honest. I'm gonna wash it and wipe things down and he's gonna do all the building. I'm helping! <laughs> I'm helping! Okay, I forgot to turn on the camera when we lifted it into place, but there she be. I think it makes it feel so warm and cozy. Look how cute. So we gotta put the glass in and the panels, all this stuff needs to go in there and there's homeschool carts and such, but I think it's very cute. Maybe, oh, hey! Excuse you. I'm thinking maybe we could stain our table to match, but Cody and I were just having a conversation about how we love that our house is like a hodgepodge of eras and every piece has meaning. We, like, I know it's not for everybody to have like a very eclectic house, but it's definitely for us. And we just really don't like the look, like no offense if you have a house like this, but like we hate that when everything looks like it came from like the same catalog, it looks like, oh, you bought this Wayfair set or whatever. And it just like looks like it's, it's all cohesive. It all matches. I hate that look so much. It's just not for me. I don't like if it's in your house and they go to your house and your house is like that, your house is lovely. It's just not what I want in my house. You know what I mean? So I like this like, it's, it's an eclectic collection of memories. I can tell you a little story. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Are you going to be crawling soon? I think so. I can tell you a little story about like every piece in our home. This couch that we love so much. Like everything has some sort of story, you know? And even this piece now will have a story because the lady who gave it to us, sold it to us, she was telling me a story of where it came from and how it came to her and that's special. So, currently all my teacups are up here and I have a big collection of like vintage mismatched um, my teacups and plates and I have my teapots up there and I love taking out teapots and doing like proper tea and using the china constantly. This will be so much easier because it's been kind of a pain to have to go up there and get them all, but I don't want them to get broken. Oh, and just think about like, at Christmas I can decorate the top of that. Oh, it's just gonna be so sweet. And I can organize this and maybe put a plant or two up there. 
I love it. It's perfect. 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 Best $20 I've spent in a while. <laughs> what do you think? What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> you are carousing. Mama's going to have to, all I can see is like, oh, there's a cord that needs to be moved. Yeah. We need to baby proof kind of get ready for you to be crawling. Are you trying to move or do you see Finn? Is that your buddy? He loves Finn again. Do you want to come and get it? Come get the camera. Come get the camera. Hi. Do you want to come get it? Do you see Finn again? Oh, do you want it? Look at it. You're going to be cruising before we're ready, aren't you? You're strong. You are a strong boy. You sure are. Carly needs some. Oh! <laughs> you should not have kissed that. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. That's so sweaty. <laughs> sweaty ball. I'm keeping that in. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
Okay, Cody's been working away getting all the glass in. We weren't gonna film the whole thing because it takes a while. All the glass is in other than shelves. Yeah, shelves so he's putting down. shelves in right now. So he's wiping down. He's got all the glass in. It's so pretty. I really like it. Perfect. New old is my favorite. New old. Oh, I see. You just like. Because you couldn't have one that long, yeah. you wouldn't be able to get it in. So they split the shelves into two. Smart. While he's been doing this, I got the kids. Well, I got Gray to bed. He's reading in bed now, all settled in. Zag is has decided he's not tired. It's almost nine. Um, and Kenzie is cleaning her guinea pigs and she's gonna read and that's our thing is it's like go to bed and then read. You can stay up reading, that's fine. And in goes the last shelf. I need to figure out oh, I need to figure out a, a lighting solution, but for just right now to show you. Oh, it does light up. So it works. It's just Dude. like old wiring and old bulbs, so I want to replace them. Because that would just suck the life out of the like. That'll cost more than our nah, whole house. It's not gonna cost a lot because like they're not high efficiency bulbs, but they're just like shitty and old, and well, I'd rather have nicer ones. I thought you had to be careful with plugs that don't have grounders. Again, yes or no. Okay. Um, it's just some lights. It's not anything major. So it's fine. Okay. But I would just like something more updated. Yeah, fair. But there it is. It looks good. It looks good. Now I can feel it. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so I filled the first two rows with my teapots and then my cups and I put my favorite, hold on, let me open this. Okay, I'll open this. I put my favorite ones that I use the most. This is my favorite. Right here and then I use this one and this one and this one quite a lot as well. I like all of them, but my little teacup collection is growing, ever growing, and then my teapots. This is the one I use all the time, like every day, kind of teapot. I use this for when it's just me. And then this one is to a set back here. Um, Cody's grandma gave us her big dinner set, so I'm going to put that in here as well. Okay, so Cody is playing Zelda. The kids are in bed. Um, Zeg has been like off and on sleeping, but he just won't go to bed. 
I think we're just going through a little bit of a sleep regression right now. So he's like chilling in his crib because sometimes if I, if he's just like happy, sometimes, sometimes if I just put him in there, he'll just go to sleep. So we'll see. Um, so the china cabinet a little bit, I'll do the other, ooh, the dish sets in there probably tomorrow when I have some time. But now I'm going to sneak out because it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to sneak out and go water. So I'm going to bring you guys with me before I say goodbye to you for this vlog. And let's go outside and water. So nice out here. It was really, really hot today. So, um, I love to sneak out here and water at night. Show you the garden a little bit. Things are growing. I have to weed so badly. This is so weedy. These are plants and weeds. <laughs> like, this is dill. These are weeds surrounding garlic. <laughs> Strawberries are in here and also weeds. Love that a very weedy year for me but I just haven't been able to come out here so I need to get out here I don't know if I'm gonna have any butterfly pea flowers this year I've got my potatoes and tomatoes growing away I need to cover these guys fill these bags up more these two these are potatoes so <sighs> and this is oregano and I need to harvest like the entire bush and let it regrow bed is not doing very well it's just I think there's an issue with the pH or something um, all of my strawberry plants have died I don't know what happened <laughs> my lettuce is starting to grow so that's nice my mint is almost dead and my lemon bomb is dying I don't know again my squash is doing okay and I do have zucchini coming up so I guess we'll see it's too late now to really amend these beds again so I'm sad about my mint. How the heck do you kill mint? Mint doesn't die. We'll see. It's not dead yet. Alrighty, you guys, I'm all ready for bed. I'm gonna end this vlog here. In my next one, I will show you guys the fully stocked china cabinet after I've put the dish sets in there. Got a dish set from Cody's grandma and a dish set I bought for Christmas and a couple other miscellaneous things that are up in my cupboards. Like I have a giant mushroom pot and lots of fun little things that I have to make room for in there and put all in there. So I will show you guys that, but I just thought I would take you guys along because I really missed you and I, just love getting these like old new things and I feel like a china cabinet was the one thing we were missing and it's like the finishing touch to our house um so I really really like it I hope you like taking along with me today um I hope to share lots more this summer I feel like I have space now to catch back up on vlogs uh the podcast will resume eventually but um yeah right now my focus is just taking off bite-sized pieces and not trying to eat the whole plate at once. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful, gentle week. I hope to see you sooner than later. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll show you what's in the china cabinet and we'll catch you later with a cozy tea. I hope you guys all have a lovely week. Bye.